Thank you. Yes, brother. Good evening, sir. My name is Rahul Gonkar, and I'm just a student. I just need to ask you, in the Islamic religion, why the Shias Muslim people are given less importance compared to other Muslims? It means I have to. I have also heard one of my Muslim friends that they are not even allowed to drink water from a Shia family. Not even a water. Okay. Means I just need to ask. Means. Uh, it is also said that means in Iraq there was a Sandab, Saddam Hussein has done so many cruelism on Shias people. They, he has sent, uh, means the chemical, he has spread a chemical gas, he has done a cruelism on Shias people as compared to Hitler has done on Jewish people in the Second World War. So don't you think it's an injustice and I also, I, I also need to know that means what exactly the Shias people has done a mistake in the Islamic religion before. So means still, still they are suffering right now these days. The brother asked the question that why are Shias considered inferior and what mistakes they have done? Why Saddam Hussein killed them like Hitler has killed Germany with chemical weapons, etc.? Brother, in Islam there is no Shia Sunni. There is no Shia Sunni in Islam. I'll give the answer. I'll give the answer. I'll give the answer and then you are most welcome. In Islam there is no Shia Sunni. What Quran says in Surah Al Imran, chapter 3, verse number 103, Wa tasimu bi hablillahi jamiya wala tafarraku. Hold to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. We have to hold to the rope of Allah, the Quran, and the teachings of the Prophet, the Sahih Hadith. If you hold to them, then you are a true Muslim. There is no Shia Sunni in Islam, and there is no sect in Islam. The Quran says in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 159, O Prophet, anyone who makes division, who makes sect in the religion of Islam, you have nothing to do with him. Allah will look after the affairs on the day of judgment. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that there will be 73 sects in Islam. Out of that, only one will go to Jannah. The Sahabas asked, which one? Those who follow me and my Sahabas. Those who follow Quran and the authentic teachings of the Prophet. So, the Quran says, don't make sects. A Prophet said, even though the Quran says, there will be some people who will make sects. How many? 73. The one who will be on the true part is one who doesn't make sex. So anyone who calls himself anything besides Muslims, the word is Muslim. Muslim means a person who submits the will to God. What was the Prophet? Was he Shia? Was he Sunni? What was he? He was Muslim. And the answer I gave to the earlier sister of Sulay al Imran, chapter 3, verse 64, it says, Fakulu shadu bianna muslimun. We bear witness that we are Muslim. If you want to judge whether the Muslim is right or wrong, what do you do? You check with the Quran. Let him call himself Mamba, Zakir, Sultan, Abdullah, no problem. You check it up if he's following the Quran and the authentic teaching of the Prophet, Bukhari, Muslim, authentic teaching, he's a true Muslim. If he goes against the true teachings of the Prophet, the Sahih Hadith of Bukhari, Muslim and all the other Sahih Hadith and goes against the Quran, he is not a true Muslim. A true Muslim is a person who follows the Quran and the authentic teachings of the Prophet Muhammad So when you come to know, let him call himself anything. If he does not follow the Quran and does not follow the authentic teaching of the Prophet, he is not a true Muslim. <laughs> Regarding the second part of the question, Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein is not there in the question. It is in the question, no? Ah. Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein killed Shias. Brother, I don't know whether he killed Shias or not. The media says. But, whether it be Saddam Hussein, whether it be Hitler, whether it be George Bush, anyone kills any innocent human being. Leave aside Shia Sunni. Even if he kills an innocent Hindu, innocent Christian, innocent Jew. He it, 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 George Bush, crime. Hitler, Sultan. I believe in this Shias, Sunnis, or Bori Muslims, sir. I am not saying that. Quran, there is no Shia Sunni in the Quran. Means there so, no there are so many the majids are there, so, so many That's majids. You tell them, you ask them, where is the word Shia mentioned in the Quran? Ask him, where is Bori mentioned in the Quran? Sir, it is a, it's a, my college is there in Bandra, sir, I'm studying. So the, these people are uh -huh. not following, if what you have to do, ask them. Are they following the teachings of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Are they following the teachings of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Anam, chapter 6, verse number 159. Anyone who makes sex, division, in Islam, you have nothing to do with him. 
anyone who divides the religion of Islam, it is prohibited. So if you have to be a good Muslim, you have to hold to the rope of Allah, that is the Quran. So just by calling someone Abdullah, Sultan, whatever it is, will not take you to Jannah, but following the teachings of the Creator Almighty God and following the teachings of Prophet Muhammad peace. Brother, I would like to ask you a question. Yes. I have a question. You are so much bothered about Shia Sunni. Uh -huh. I want to ask you why. Sir, there are so many my friends no, are no. there. Do you, want to, do you want to join Islam and then you are thinking what to take? So, I am asking you the question. Yeah, do you want to come to Islam and uh -huh. you are thinking should you join Shia or Sunni? Sir, no. I am... No. I mean, there are so many, sir, there are so many religions are there. I mean, in Islam, there are so many sections of religions. There is no there. section in Islam. Uh -huh. Islam, there is only one Muslim. Whoever told 